the last 10 days of October have come to a close, we've ended up with the hottest October on record. Take a look at temperatures across not only Texas, but to the north in Oklahoma. I point this out because if you look even further north into Colorado, you see temperatures in the 40s right now. That's because there is a cold front between us and them. And this cold front, you know, you would think, oh, finally a cool down, but no. That cold front is going to still be a couple of days away. In fact, this one is going to lift out. There's going to be another one come down. It'll be here towards the end of the work week, and we'll finally end the spell of these very warm conditions. But you know, that average high in the mid 70s, we're going to stay above it the next couple of days because we're going to be close to record highs. But as we get later on the week, I'm not talking about really cool weather, but a cool down in store. We'll still be above normal temperatures as we start the new month. But right now it's 64 degrees. We've got this south wind at six miles per hour. We've got dew points close to 60. Down across our southeast, we have a little bit of fog this morning, but not across the Metroplex. Across the Metroplex, we're going to go from 69 degrees at 8 a.m. by noon will be 81 degrees. So a huge jump in temperatures and near record highs as we get into the upper 80s. We'll have a little bit of a south southwest wind that goes to the south and starts to calm as we get into the evening hours. But these are going to be this will be another breezy day. Here's that dense fog advisor. It's in effect till 11 a.m. for Anderson, Freestone, and Limestone counties. We'll keep an eye on that. Here's your forecast planner for the day in front of us. As you see, temperatures will be warming up quickly as we get towards the noon hour, already being the 80s. It will be mostly sunny out there. There'll be a few clouds streaming up from the south, but they'll wick away in the afternoon. We'll get into the upper 80s. At times, it will be breezy, especially in the mid portions of the day, but the winds will die down tonight and we'll have these temperatures fall down into the 70s. So plan yourself to have a very warm day and plan for a very warm Halloween as well. These are the forecasted highs for tomorrow, the last day of October, and we're in the upper 80s. I mean, the average high is 73. Our record is 89, and we're going to be, again, within a couple of degrees of a record high. So when does all this change? Well, you see all the rain out into the West Coast. There is a storm system coming on shore there in front of this front and all this troughiness out to the west, we have near record highs. Well, what happens is this storm starts to come down into the desert southwest and into Mexico. It's going to kind of linger out here as it becomes a cutoff low, but it will help get a cold front headed this way. So this is Wednesday. This is where I've stopped it. It's Wednesday evening, and you can see these rain chances around the Metroplex coming up from the south. That's because we're going to have this south wind and have all these dew points getting into the 60s. So we have moist humid, unstable air. We have a front coming through, so the rain chances are decent. We get into Thursday. This will probably be our best chance of rain. Wednesday night into Thursday, maybe in Thursday morning's commute has some rain. And then Friday, probably still enough moisture around to have some pop-up showers as we get into the afternoon hours. And the same story on Saturday, so you'll see slight rain chances there. Near record high, near record high, and then we have these temperatures starting to kind of diminish a little bit, but that's because of cloud cover and rain chances. We really don't start cooling down until we get after the weekend. And now we're talking about highs that are closer to what you would expect this time of year.